We've all dreamed of that perfect partner, haven't we? The one who truly gets us, who anticipates our needs, shares our passions, and maybe, just maybe, looks exactly how we've always imagined. But what if that ideal companion wasn't born, but built? What if, in a world increasingly saturated with artificial intelligence and advanced robotics, we could move beyond pre-programmed assistance and into an era of hyper-personalized, engineered companionship? And if we could build anyone, why not someone who embodies the raw energy, defiant spirit, and iconic style of a rock star? specifically a rock chick who lives and breathes power cords and leather jackets? Doesn't the very idea spark a flicker of rebellious curiosity? Thank you. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. Think about it. For decades, science fiction has toyed with the concept of synthetic life, from the cautionary tales of Frankenstein to the sleek, sometimes unsettlingly human-like androids of countless movies. But now, fiction is bleeding into reality at an astonishing pace. Isn't it? We're no longer talking about clunky automatons capable of only repetitive factory tasks. We're witnessing the rise of humanoid robots with increasingly sophisticated capabilities. But are they just tools or something more? And if they can be more, why shouldn't they be exactly what we want, down to their taste in music and sartorial choices? Building a rock chick robot partner isn't just a whimsical fantasy. It's a fascinating lens through which to examine the bleeding edge of technological convergence. What pieces of the modern tech puzzle would we need to snap together to create such a specific personality-driven machine? Where do the current limitations lie? And what research is pushing those boundaries right now? Let's start with the physical form. Our rock chick needs to look the part, right? This isn't just about sculpting plastic into a vaguely human shape. We're talking about creating a robot with a naturalistic appearance, perhaps even one that can mimic the subtle expressions and movements that convey passion and emotion crucial for appreciating a blistering guitar solo. This delves into the realm of advanced material science and tactile robotics. Researchers are developing synthetic skins that aren't just visually convincing but can also incorporate touch sensitivity giving the robot a sense of its own body and potentially allowing for more nuanced physical interaction, maybe even the ability to feel the rumble of a base cabinet. Imagine synthetic leather that feels cool and worn, or fabric interwoven with flexible microelectronics that can subtly change color or display patterns like a dynamic stage outfit. Recent research, like the work exploring living skin using cultured cells and silicone, albeit still in early, slightly unsettling stages, hints at a future where robotic exteriors are astonishingly lifelike and even capable of self-repair. While a full living skin might be a bit extreme for our rock chick, advancements in flexible, durable, and aesthetically convincing synthetic materials are absolutely essential. The call for robot fashion show at upcoming conferences like Coral 2025 even highlights the growing interest in robot aesthetics and the integration of fashion, suggesting that dressing robots isn't just a human quirk but a developing field. Beyond the skin, there's the skeleton and muscles, the actuators and joints that provide movement. A rock star doesn't just stand still, do they? They move with energy, with attitude, creating a robot capable of fluid, dynamic motion, think headbanging, stage dives, maybe not the latter, for safety. Or just that quintessential swagger requires sophisticated engineering. The shift towards electric actuators, as seen in advancements discussed by companies like Schaeffler, offers greater precision, control, and energy efficiency compared to older hydraulic systems. Miniaturization in these components is also key, allowing for more compact and agile designs, essential for a robot that needs to move with the freedom of a seasoned performer. Can we program a robot to have rhythm? 
to feel the beat in its very core? This isn't just about executing pre-programmed dance moves. It's about real-time reaction to music, a challenge that ties directly into the robot's sensory systems and AI. Ah yes, the senses. How does a robot experience rock music? He hears it, of course, but truly appreciating music is more than just processing audio signals. It's about feeling the energy, understanding the nuances, perhaps even anticipating the next chord change. This is where advancements in AI, particularly in areas like machine learning and natural language processing, NLP, become critical. To develop a robot that loves rock music, we need to move beyond simple genre identification. Can AI be trained to recognize the feeling of a raw guitar riff versus a polished pop hook? Research into AI-powered music analysis and generation is already happening, with systems capable of composing and improvising music. But can they learn preference? Can they develop a taste for, say, classic punk over prog rock? This would require sophisticated learning algorithms that can correlate audio input with programmed or learned enjoyment responses. Imagine feeding the robot a massive library of rock music, allowing it to analyze structures, identify iconic sounds, and through reinforcement learning, develop preferences based on predefined parameters or even by observing human reactions. Can a robot learn to get goosebumps from a killer drum solo? Perhaps not in the biological sense, but it could certainly be programmed to exhibit behaviors that simulate that appreciation. Increased activity, specific vocalizations, even a programmed air guitar routine. Research exploring the integration of humanoid robots with human musicians for synchronized performances, as well as studies on robots learning musical patterns, demonstrates the growing intersection of AI and music in robotics. Then there's the personality. Our Rakshik robot isn't just a music player. She's a partner. This requires a level of conversational ability and personality that goes far beyond current voice assistance. AI personality development is a rapidly evolving field. Researchers are exploring frameworks for creating robots with dynamic personalities based on models like the Big Five personality traits allowing for more adaptive and non-deterministic interactions. Can we program in a rebellious streak? A dry wit? A tendency to stay up late discussing obscure band trivia? This involves complex AI architectures capable of processing context, generating creative responses, and maintaining a consistent persona. User interfaces for customizing robot behavior are also being developed moving beyond simple command inputs to more intuitive systems, perhaps even using virtual reality or natural language to define personality quirks and preferences. Imagine using a user-friendly interface to dial in the desired level of rock and roll attitude, teaching the robot about your favorite bands, and watching its personality evolve as it learns from interactions and exposure to music. And what about the aesthetics, the rock star look? This isn't just about off-the-rack clothes. We're talking about integrated design. Could the robot's chassis incorporate flexible displays that show dynamic visuals linked to the music it's playing? Could its synthetic hair be interwoven with conductive fibers that light up in time with the beat? This brings in the exciting potential of flexible electronics and smart textiles. Research in these areas is leading to the development of materials that can bend, stretch, and conform while maintaining electronic functionality. Imagine a robot wearing a jacket made of e-textile that becomes a moving light show during a concert, or boots with integrated sensors that allow it to feel the vibrations of the floor. Recent news from Shanghai Fashion Week even showcased humanoid robots integrating into fashion, hinting at a future where robots are not just observers but participants and even models in the world of style. Of course, building such a personalized robot partner raises fascinating, and perhaps slightly uncomfortable, questions. What does it mean for a machine to love something? Is it true emotion, or just a highly sophisticated simulation? As robots become more capable of mimicking human emotions and developing distinct personalities, 
Where do we draw the line between tool and companion? And what are the ethical implications of creating beings designed specifically to fulfill our desires, musical or otherwise? Are we building partners or simply the ultimate, most expensive action figures? The technology is certainly marching forward, isn't it? From sophisticated actuators and realistic synthetic skins to AI that can learn and adapt, the building blocks for a highly customizable robot partner are steadily falling into place. While a fully realized, concert-ready Rockchick robot might still be a few years down the road, the research happening today in areas like AI personality generation, flexible electronics, and human-robot interaction is paving the way. Could you imagine a future where you could design not just the appearance, but the very soul of your ideal companion? One who shares your passion for thunderous drums and wailing guitar solos, all clad in the perfect full leather ensemble? It's a wild thought, isn't it? And as technology continues its relentless progression, it's a thought that edges closer and closer to reality. The question is, are we ready to build the bandmates of our dreams? And what will that say about us? So dreaming of the perfect partner, what if you could build them, isn't it? To your specifications. Say, a rock chick robot leaps for power cords and sports rock star style. This is not just fantasy anymore. It's becoming plausible thanks to rapid advancements in robotics. Building such a custom companion requires pushing boundaries to several tech areas, in several tech areas. We need sophisticated materials for realistic, even touch sensitive, skin integrated uh, aesthetics, like flexible displays for dynamic looks. And there are a lot of things, a lot of things more that we need. Now, advanced actuators and joints are needed for dynamic rhythmic movement, while AI, artificial intelligence, particularly machine learning and natural language processing, NLP, is crucial for developing a distinct personality and genuinely learning to appreciate or simulate appreciating, of course, rock music. Research is actively exploring AI personality frameworks and user interfaces for deep customization. While creating a robot that truly loves music raises complex questions. Yes, it might raise complex questions about consciousness and emotion, the technology for highly personalized, aesthetically and behaviorally uh, tailored human and robots is rapidly developing moving us closer to a future where engineered companionship as specific as a, a mosh pit ready partner might just be possible. So thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like, share with your friends and subscribe for more insights. If you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. And please consider signing up for membership zone to support Uden Slit so that we can make it better and better and cater you, provide you with more insights, serve you better. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye, take care and stay safe.